I'm not going to be on the face of this planet when all of this stuff comes to fruition. And if we don't do all of that stuff, the money that we're going to have to spend is going to be far more than what we're going to do now. So right now, the way I look at it, we can't afford not to do anything. Climate change and sea level rise is impacting coastal communities around the world. The province of British Columbia advises municipalities to plan for one meter of sea level rise over the next 80 years. With an extensive coastal floodplain occupying 20% of the land base, flooding is not new to Surrey. Surrey's coastal floodplain includes Semiamu First Nation, important residential areas, farms and agricultural operations, major infrastructure and transportation corridors, and internationally recognized wildlife and habitat areas. Protecting this area is one of Canada's most extensive flood management systems, including dikes, sea dams, flood boxes, pumps, and spillways, some over 100 years old. However, with rising sea levels, more frequent storm surges, and increased precipitation, existing flood control measures will not perform in the future. After the province released guidelines for coastal communities to prepare for one meter sea level rise, the cost of new protection works was estimated at $9.5 billion for the Lower Mainland in 2012. The cost of upgrades and new flood control systems for Surrey's coastal floodplain and the Fraser River was pegged at $1.5 billion. To help improve the resilience of Surrey's coastal floodplain and prepare for climate change and sea level rise, the city is developing a Coastal Flood Adaptation Strategy, or CFAS. The two-year project is currently working with partners and stakeholders to identify, evaluate, and prioritize flood adaptation options that Surrey can undertake to improve resiliency and reduce flood risk in the short, medium, and long term. The first phase kicked off in the fall of 2016, engaging coastal floodplain partners and stakeholders to identify their issues, concerns, and values. The water came in on a tide and it went out, but more stayed in that went out. <laughs> During a series of engagement events, community members, project partners, and stakeholders identified a large number of objectives for future coastal flood management in Surrey. These were then organized into five common thematic areas for additional feedback and prioritization. Community and residential. Environment and recreation. Transportation and infrastructure. Agriculture and farming. And local and regional economy. The next phase of work involves the identification and evaluation of adaptation options based on both technical criteria and community values. This phase of work started in May 2017 and will be ongoing until the fall of 2017. Thank you to all of our residents, stakeholders, and partners who participated in the first phase of Surrey's Coastal Flood Adaptation Strategy. There is still time to get involved and play a role to help Surrey become more resilient and prepare for climate change and sea level rise.